today I played Gorilla Tag, but it gets less realistic. I used a mod to make Gorilla Tag look super realistic, and as the video goes on, it's gonna get less and less realistic. How bad can I make Gorilla Tag graphics look? Well, let's hop into the game and go find out. All right, here we are in Gorilla Tag, and you guys might be wondering, Fizzy, how are you gonna get the game from realistic to really unrealistic? Well, uh, let me show you, because I have something right over here. I'm standing in front of something that's gonna make it really easy today, and that thing is the Dimensions mod. So basically, I can load up a bunch of maps, and I have 11 different custom maps. Oh gosh, I picked up the camera. I have 11 different maps where I'm gonna be going from realistic graphics to unrealistic graphics. And we're starting with map number one. The first map is called Ghost of Tsushima and it's by a guy named Samurai Ghost. And if you guys wanna download any of these maps in today's video, then go into the Discord server in the description down below and join that. All credits to them, but let's go ahead and hop in in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. This is literally the map. We got actual realistic trees. Like bro, I could go outside of my front door and look at trees like this. Maybe not this tall because I don't live in a forest, but I could definitely see trees that look really similar to this. Also, I don't know why, but for some reason, all the grass moves in the same direction and speed at the same time. That's a little weird, but I do have something to make this a lot more realistic, so give me one second. Okay, I went ahead and turned it on. I bet you guys can see a big difference, especially in first person. This looks so cool, bro. I added image sharpening and of course, bloom. Like, obviously, bloom is gonna make this look super cool. Like, bro, just look at this. This is insane. Can I climb these trees, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can, oh, I'm invisible. I'm literally stuck inside the tree right now. How did I do that? That's not really too realistic. <laughs> but all right, this was the most realistic map. It is time to move on to a different map and every single map is gonna get less and less realistic. All right, for this next map, I'm gonna keep on these bloom settings because uh, they look really good in this one. I've, I've used this map before. Super Realistic Forest by Nacho Engine. You guys will probably be familiar with this map. And we are into the stump. This is what it looks like with bloom on. And this is what it looks like with bloom off. So uh, yeah, it's a big difference. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on so we can actually see how beautiful this map looks with bloom on all right we got it back on let's go ahead and hop out into the map and bro this is just so freaking cool like look at this everything is so bright all the textures are so hd the grass is hd the woods hd the stump is hd the trees the leaves the gazebo the treehouse the walls especially the walls bro look at this this is sick hold on let's see if i could go to the slippery walls real quick go go please slippery walls where are they oh i think i hit them wait a second okay yeah i hit them i just i just slipped right off of those let's go let's go but like just look at this with bloom on it just makes the table look so hd the treehouse is really pink why is the treehouse pink and why is this like super white is the treehouse actually pink i thought it was like a pinkish orange mainly orange though let's go ahead and hop up here is there anything inside no there's nothing inside but let's see if i can do a little bit of a route i'm gonna hop on that branch and go over there yes let's go i'm so good at gorilla type bro wow all right, well, thank you, editor. It's time to move on to the next map. <laughs> Hold on, before we move on to the next map, let me pause the video really quick. The majority of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. I'm trying to hit my goal of 500,000 subscribers, so please subscribe. And also, make sure to join my Discord server. You can have a chance to be in future videos and meet me. And also, join my Skelly Discord server. Skelly is a fan game that I'm making, so join the Discord before it releases. All right, before we move on to the third map, you guys might be wondering why I don't have the Illustrator badge on. Well, that's because I'm getting really ahead on videos for VidCon. I definitely have the badge by now. I just, at the time recording, I don't have it yet, but I definitely do have the illustrator badge as of right now when you're watching this video all right but the next map is called vr store high graphics by flop tag you guys are actually not gonna believe yourself when i say we're about to go into a 7-eleven in a different country but we are and here we are on the gas station literally if i turn around we are in a 7-eleven right now bro like there's the drinks there's the snacks in a different language we're definitely not an american gas station there's monsters right there there's coke here for two dollars you can buy three coke zeros for seven dollars you can buy water for two dollars you can get some google play cards some apple cards everything's on me today boys so go ahead and pick out what you want oh wait what is this right here it says team member only oh yeah i'm about to go work oh yeah i'm behind the counter now does this mean i could steal something is there a cash register get me up there get me I can't climb walls to save my life. So, uh, gas station, you're, you're, you're safe today. I'll come back. Who is that? Who is that right there, bro? I can go up here. I can get to the cash register. Go, go. I need to find that cash register. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Give me all the stuff. I can buy everything for free now. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Okay, the door is open right here. I guess we're leaving. There's a, um, a pasta mania. There's two of the same guys staring at me. There's a New York, New York, a 7-Eleven, and there's a Burger King. Burger King is actually disgusting. Why is there two people sitting at a table and eating Burger King? 
King. And why does that woman right there look so confused? I have no idea, but um, this map is so sick, bro. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, every single map that we go into is going to get less and less realistic. But the fourth map is still pretty realistic. We're hopping into something called Monkeyville. And it says the map is made by someone named The Good Man. And it says, be prepared to fall. And this map honestly looks really cool. There's a bunch of trees. There's a fire pit with like a little bucket thing right here. There's a tree house. There's actually multiple tree houses, hence the name uh, Monkeyville. But for some reason, all of the trees have five spiked leaves. And what the heck is that, bro? Are those eyes staring at me? <laughs> Wait, there's more right there. Bro, why are there eyes staring? staring at me on this map what but okay it said be prepared to fall i guess i'm going down here now <laughs> oh what is this okay there's a gazebo with a couch a table another fire pit with a cauldron and a tv with go monkeys youtube channel at the time he put this texture on he had 482 subscribers and his latest video was uh more jumps on canyon beta wow this map has to be old okay well i'm going on to the next map <laughs> All right, I'm a little confused because it says map of realistic forest from Unity, but um, every single map that we're going on to is getting less realistic. Bro, I'm so confused right now. But all right, this is the map. Yo, we're in the winter update. And what is that over there? What is that pink thing hurting my eyes? I think this is a campfire over here. Bro, why are the textures like that? I think I'm missing a few textures. Oh, that hurts. I can see right through it and see the logs, but at least there's sound effects. But I guess we're in the uh, winter update because all trees have no leaves and there's snow falling and there's snow on the trees. And what is that over there? I don't I don't know if that's a missing texture or that's a dark room over there i'm a little scared of that and who are you bro what is this there's a guy in here what the heck all right your name tag says hello my name is sam all right sam i'm gonna buy some uh, cosmetics from you all right wait i don't see any cos <laughs> why is that there why is there a mirror and why was there no warning about it i guess the only thing are these pixels right here but why is there a brick of mirror bro this makes no sense and i'm singing into the floor <laughs> this is so weird where are the cosmetics at um sam i don't think there's any cosmetics in here so um i'm gonna have to leave you okay bye bye sam bye bye all right well that map was really weird we met a guy named sam and we went into the shop that only had a mirror and no cosmetics but the next map is actually really cool you you guys are actually gonna like this one a lot we're getting on to the cartoony stages of the maps now all right the next map that we are going on to is called outset island by banjo and it says the classic old outset island from wind waker i have no idea what that means but we're hopping in yo it's playing its own music <laughs> what it's okay that's loud bro dang it's says you fall through water is it gonna crash my game then all right let's go ahead and hop on down here it's like a little mini village y'all want to check out all of this let's go into this house oh you you literally can't go in there's no furniture it's just blocked off okay <laughs> it looks like there's some rock parkour right here let's go across the bridge there's other houses and i don't know if you can get up there wait we're gonna see if we can get up there in a second it would be an even better map for hide and seek if you could actually go inside the houses fully but honestly these houses look super cool still and there's a boat right there can i get to the boat or is that actually impossible because i could fall through the water hold on we gotta try this we got oh wait there's supposed right please tell me i could take this to the water take me away boat the boat is literally going nowhere i think i need someone to push me but i'm by myself on this map i hope no one actually pushes me because i'll be a little terrified because i am alone <laughs> all right let's go up this trail right here let's go on a little hike up the mountain shall we what is going to be up here and oh we reached the top okay i don't think you can make this jump at all but i want to try to get over there because i think you can go inside how did i fall bro if i go to the corner right there i think i can pinch climb up i'll start pinch climbing wait i think you can actually do it let's go let's go no no i fell oh my goodness dude i was so close okay it gets a little difficult to pinch climb when you get to that spot right there so i'm gonna try to wall climb up this okay i think this might be doable go go yes i did it no way bro it's just blank no that would have been so cool but this map is honestly such a w i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the water my game actually crashed now okay all right moving on to i think map number seven um i have no idea what to expect from this one because this one is called hide and seek scuffed by will vr a hide and seek map i made for my friend and a i don't know who a is but i'm hopping in okay oh okay yeah we are starting to get a lot unrealistic now and what the heck is this bro he said this is a hide and seek map um so these leaf textures look cool but um it's very boxy you can make a diamond shape out of these i don't know what that is but okay there's a cracked eggshell right here and oh my goodness that is bright i am so sorry if you're watching this video in the dark because i'm, I'm just flash banging you over and over but okay let's go ahead and see if i can actually find a good hiding spot and i'm gonna set my camera down right here and I'm gonna see if you guys can find me. So uh, let me let me go hide real quick. Okay, I'm officially in a hiding spot. So try to guess where I am in three, two, one. Yeah, I, I never hid. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna go hide now. Actually, this time. Okay, now I promise I'm actually in a hiding spot. Try to guess where I am in three, two, one. 
I'm right here. <laughs> you can actually go inside of the barrel over there. That's so sick. Okay, I'm assuming this is one of those like spiral things that you can just run up on and just get to the top. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. Oh, wait, what? I'm stuck. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Wait, you can actually hide inside of this thing. No way. Well, this would actually be a W hide and seek map if there were like three or four more hiding, hiding spots. But uh, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next map and it's gonna start getting very unrealistic. All right, the next map is made by Wyatar96. It's called Monkey Climbers. And this map is from my Gorilla Tag fan game. Let's go. All right, we're in a tiny stump with a blue screen computer, but blue screen computers aren't usually the best thing in the world. But um, all right, this is the map. Okay, let's go ahead and hop down here. There's a couple trees that are very rectangly and square. Um, but is there like a moderator vent? Oh, no way. I have not been on this map before. No way. Okay, wait, let's see if this leads me anywhere. I, I don't think this leads me actually anywhere. Oh gosh. Wyatt, where are you taking me, bro? It better not be a jump scare, but I, it better be something cool at the end of this. Bro, what is this? Where is it taking me? Why so many turns? This is such a long hallway. All right. Oh, wait, this is the end. Are you kidding me right now? It's just a bigger room with stretch textures. Really? Give me moderator stick. Nope. I demand moderator stick. All right. Well, if I want to check out the rest of the map, I literally have to run all the way out, bro. Oh my goodness. And we're out. Oh my goodness. That was good workout, I guess. I got my steps in, but that led me to nowhere. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything else. Oh, there's a room right there. There's another place. Please tell me that this area is cool. And why is the stump so tiny, bro? All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, yo, there's a waterfall. What? I just fell through the map again. No. All right, Mr. Wyatt. I guess you don't really like me that much. You didn't give me moderator stick and you crashed my game. All right, this next map is actually kind of cool. It was actually made by Sava for this video. So shout out to Sava. Solid colored forest, blank forest by Sava. Everybody go subscribe to him, W Mans. All right, let's hop in. Oh my goodness. Yo, this instantly reminds me of Brick Tag. I don't know if you guys played that fan game that was out for a little bit. I think it's still off the store, but this literally reminds me of Brick Tag. Everything's just solid colors, what? The gazebo has its colors. I don't know why the top of it's pink. I guess, is that normally how it is? The steps of the uh, tree house is pink. Pink. Okay, Nacho Engine had a pink treehouse and Sava has pink treehouse steps. I'm a little confused right now, but we got solid gray, we got solid brown, we got solid green. Oh, oh that could that could mean green screen. So editor, please be nice to me. He's probably not being nice right now with the picture on the green screen. <laughs> but bro, look at this. You can see like all the dimensions on everything, especially the stump. It looks so cool. And the walls look very polygonal. I don't know if that's a word, but let's see if I can climb these. Okay, this is a little trippy because when I stand next to this wall, I don't know if I'm tiny or am I a giant, but I'm gonna try to wall climb this, but it's very hard with everything being solid colors. Oh God. Oh, I'm actually doing it. No way. Oh, that was good. I almost made it to slippery walls. Let's go. This map is honestly so cool though. I wouldn't mind it if it was an actual rotating map in Gorilla Tag. I think it would just be fun to play on like all maps being solid colors and the slide works. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, Slava, you killed this map, but what do you guys think? Should this actually be added into like a rotating map? I think it'd be kind of cool. And the leaves honestly look kind of cool too. It's a lot easier to see these dang branches than the actual Gorilla Tag leaves. That's why I'm terrible at branching, bro. Like, look at this. I'm actually... I'm not goaded, bro. Okay, I'm moving on to the next map. <laughs> All right, we're back in the normal stump, and I'll be honest, I actually really, really liked that solid color map. Uh, again, Sava killed it. Everybody go subscribe to him. And uh, but this next map we're hopping onto is called Mini Lake Parkour, a little lake parkout map by Mister. Let's hop into it. Okay, here we go, and it says if you fall, you fall out of the map. Okay, I have to complete the parkour, and then I have to come back to that computer. Oh gosh, yo, who is this? Wait, no, <laughs> why is he so chunky? I I'm not, I'm not gorilla shaming you, buddy. But like, dang. Oh, on, let's go ahead and flip this camera around. I don't want to see his face. Oh my goodness. Why is he so creepy? But all right, we got one mission and that's to complete this parkour. So let's go ahead and jump over here and let's jump Ooh, over here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I almost fell on the map. Good job beating the mini parkour. Oh, oh no, don't fall. Don't fall. Oh my goodness. That was way too close. All right, let's see if I can go back over here. No, no, dude. <laughs> I fell the map no matter what, bro. I'm so bad. It wouldn't be a fizzy video without this many fails and falling out of the maps. But anyways, we've checked out 10 maps and now we're moving on to the final map, which is the least realistic map I could find for Gorilla Tag. And this map is called My First Dimension. Thanks for downloading, enjoy. And it's by Benzo the Wrecker. Let's hop into it. And here we are. We have a green plane and a blue block, bro. Is this it? Wait, oh, it changed to gray and there's a blue and orange. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, can I go through this one? Oh, I almost fell off the map. Yo, what? It's teleporting me. What the heck? This is literally just three squares and a computer right there. Well, um, this is the least realistic I could get Gorilla Tag to look. I, I don't think it could get any worse from here. So, bye. <laughs>